I'm Adam Niffin. And I'm Jeremy Coquet. This is Smith Welding Restoration. Not an <laughs> Well, it's, it's where we work. It's what we do. We make things pretty. Alright, so we're kicking it today. These are for a um, glass rack. I'm going to kind of show you. These are real cursory. They get spaced out so they can slide glasses down here. This is for a bar. It's going to get suspended from a ceiling. It's going to look kind of like that from a side view. That's all over angle. There's going to be a frame on top of a one inch tube steel. The legs are one inch tube steel. We got five by five square plates with a hole in each corner. Uh, probably a five sixteenths hole in each corner to bolt it to the ceiling. And then these little flags here for bracing out of, I'm going to use 11 gauge sheet metal. So that's sort of what we're looking at. I got all this angle iron cut there's 14 pieces for seven racks basically I got two of the braces for the frame that goes above them and I got the two legs that come down from the ceiling I actually use I had some various gauges the heavy gauge, I use using some, um, I think these are 10 gauge. 10 or 12 gauge, I don't fucking remember. Um, for the legs that come off the ceiling, it had a little more beef. Uh, I think it's 10 gauge or 11 gauge. I'll use the 11 gauge for the gussets. So I've got like thickness and material. It's, it's gonna give me a better looking weld. So basically I got these left to cut, I got these left to cut, I got these plates to cut. I'm going to have to find some quarter inch around here to make those plates out of, I think. I don't want those out of 11 gauge, I think they'll just bend. <coughs> and then I got parts of this frame. Well, this, I got braces for the frame cut. I've got to build the outside picture frame for it. And then I got a piece of flat stock that's going to go down one side of the angle as a stop at the back of. So I'm going to clean these up with the roll lock, get my flat stock out uncut, and start laying it out because the dimensions that I have to go by, again, they're modifying their design. So with that, lots of laying out to do. Um, my table isn't perfectly flat, which really sucks for this. I need a piece of half inch on this table. I put the 16 on here just stay for now. Well, it's become more permanent than I'd like. So we're going to get laid out at least so we can see what we're dealing with. And then, um, I don't know, I'll lay it out on, on something flat later so I can get it squared up proper. So simple tools, cut off saw grinders, roll locks. Uh, I'll get some layout done and show you. Alright, so we got the picture frame. I'll go ahead and dress everything up. Finish these out perfect. Do the metal finish on them. I got a die grinder. I got everything I need. I got these all laid out. Now the other end I'm gonna have to lay out a new, make sure it's square and all that happy horse shit. But that's actually the side the bartender we'll see. So we got some cleanup on there. Past that we put the frame on there, put the cross braces across the frame that are required. Uh, the initial measurements I took were wrong. I changed things up a little bit from my drawings. Uh, when I got it laid out on this table. I, I'm burning up this piece of OSB, but I've got square edges and shit on this piece of OSB. So I kind of using that to square everything up. Uh, let me see. Next, I'll get the frame cleaned up onto the rack itself. 
do the two cross braces in the frame and then um, I gotta fabricate the five by five plates and the gussets to hold everything together. At that point, it's getting the gussets on the legs nice and square so this thing doesn't, it's not tilted, you know. Get those on there nice and square and then um, and I'll probably just put the legs on the frame, put the gussets on there, because uh, i got to get it square on two axes. The plates themselves are easy enough to get squared up as you go. Uh, lordy, 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 let me see. It's about it, man. I gotta line up the front of this. I'm probably gonna lay it on the floor. Or I'll clear off my countertop. <laughs> That's a novel idea, right? Because I got a little bump and a wave in my uh, welding table because that sheet metal. But this is basic fabrication. Uh, the legs are right there. Like I said, I got four more pieces. Six more pieces to cut. Two of them are just cutting pieces of tubing. That tubing right there. And the other two will be... Or the other four will be the plates for mounting it to the ceiling. And our gussets. I'll get this cleaned up. Get it mounted to the rack and squared and straight. Um, can I show you where I'm at from there? All right, well, here's some shit for you. I got the frame and everything put together. I've got one cross brace I'm going to drop to the mill. So I'll show you where I'm at. It's all welded up, cleaned up, spaced. I've got one space right here that's fractionally different. Uh, these spaces are imperative. So. There you go, we lost it. You work from the outside edge in to the middle, you lose it in the middle. It's like doing uh, handrails, okay? So it's all, this is all one unit now. So, I screwed up yesterday and I cut this piece of material before I had everything final laid out and what I really needed to see to pull good measurements. It's short, so what I'm gonna do, I got a small piece of angle here. That's gonna help me keep everything in line. top to bottom, side to side, make it nice and straight. I'm gonna weld this up, metal finish it, and then I'll cut it. It's only like that much too short. Uh, that's why I love metal. You can stick that piece of metal to that piece of metal and use it like it was never cut. So we're gonna fuse these two together. We're gonna chop off the right length. Uh, it's an awful lot of work to go through for three quarters of an inch of steel. I don't have any more one inch tubing. So that's, that's really the big deal right now. Um, that leaves me with four pieces to cut after this, which is your, your gusset and your foot pads for, mount, for hanging it. <laughs> so I'll get those figured out here in a minute. Um, I can't just leave and get material right now. So even at that, this will take less time than going and getting more material. And when I'm done, Nobody ever be the wiser, and it'll be perfect. So I want to kind of show you the, the, the hangnail I had on this project and show you how I solved the damn thing. All right, I'm going to come back to you when I got the brace in, the legs stood up, and the gusset's going on. All right, so I've had a chaotic day, but I want to show you this is done. This is the top view, obviously, from where it's hung up at. And receives all the uh, glasses here. This will get delivered probably Monday. There we go. That, that'll help you see it. That'd be like looking up at it from the floor to the ceiling. And that'll hold, you know, your little wine glasses all the way up to big old martini glasses and brandy snifters. That's what they asked for. That's what they got. I took measurements and pictures. 
and make sure this was all squared up this way and this way. I got those as square as I could. I wound up cutting those out of uh, tube steel, that three by six tube because I didn't have any quarter inch stock big enough. So that's a wine glass holder that suspends from the ceiling. Call.